I tried filming this a few times. I tried filming it a few times. Um, I'm about to really I just say fuck it and just like film and just talk and just edit and just upload. Like I'm about to just go ahead and do that. No, no lie, no cap. I really tried to film this like three times already on three separate occasions and sorry. This is, my water. is this my water? Is this cold? Yeah, it's my water. So my lips feel dry. I hate that. I hate like when my lips feel like extra extra dry. So, hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today, make sure you get leveled. Make sure you get leveled. Right now, I'm in my raw habitat. <laughs> I'm in my raw habitat right now. You're literally in my room, okay? So, let's just talk about 22. That was the heat. I'm gonna have to turn that off. I'll be back. All right, guys. So I'm a little breeze sticking out. Um, put that up in there. Up in the bonnet. Okay. All right, guys. So welcome back to my channel. Okay. I've tried filming this video a few times. I have failed each time. I really, really, really. Um, I want to start my channel back up. That's what I want to do. I want to start my channel back up. I want to be more consistent with creating my content, uploading my content and stuff like that. So, but I've been through so much, y'all. And y'all don't know the half of it. Y'all don't know the third of it. Y'all don't know the tenth of it, for real. You really don't. Let's just start from the beginning, okay? Um, I just literally said to myself that I need to start writing down key points to what I want to address in order because i will real life talk i will talk i will i will get off topic i will i will talk okay so basically if you watch my last video if you haven't i'll link it i think it was a get ready with me i think it was a get ready with me so if you haven't watched my last video i'll link it down below go watch it go like it go subscribe to my channel okay just do it because i want you to do it if you watched my last video, I was clearly, clearly, clearly in my old bedroom in my last video. This is my new bedroom. I moved. I moved. Just straight to the, straight like that. I moved. Why I moved? Um, I was in a situation where my peace and harmony was being threatened. It was being tainted. I was in a stressful situation. It was fucking with my mental um and i just had to give i i had to give i just had to give so i i moved um but it wasn't easy it really wasn't easy the past year or so i've been trying to kind of like just you know save up money the best way i can i'm not that good at money manager <laughs> bless me okay sorry I'm not that good at money managing so for me to try to save up money it was very difficult um I'm sorry I love food however I do love to cook as well so that's something that I don't think that I, I will struggle with for a long time I really don't think so um even now already I find myself eating buying less of outside food if someone wants to take me out then I'm going out. If someone wants to treat me, then I'm, I'm going to be treated, okay? But I'm not going to buy it myself. Straight like that. So I'm still saving money. I'm still saving money on outside food. I just had to give, and I had to just really just get out of there. Um, that that last day, bef the day before I got the phone call that I got approved for this place, I was literally at my breaking point. I was broken on the inside. My heart hurt. My chest hurt. My head hurt from crying all the time. My eyes were puffy and red. And, like, I was just really listening to my body. My body, my heart, and my soul was literally being wrecked. And call me fucking dramatic, I don't care, but at the end of the day, stress, stress, stress alters every fucking thing. Stress alters your skin, it alters your energy, it alters your weight, like, all that, like, I'm sorry, I gotta, I had to give, I just had to give in order to, you know, 
stay sane i had to go it was one day maybe like a week and a half prior to that last breaking point day that I was just sitting on my bed chilling and I was like you know I was looking through apartments if you guys um are trying to move I recommend you guys use apartments.com um also you can download the app it's available on um in the app store that's probably like the most easiest way to find a new place in my opinion so that's that's my honest opinion like that's how I found this place <laughs> that's how I found this place on apartments that's how I found my old place on apartments.com so um if you guys are looking to move definitely check out apartments.com well I was just like saying fuck it you know sitting on my bed and I was applying to like three different apartments um with not a lot of money in my account I just said fuck it I applied to apartments I applied to like three different ones um some of them actually called me back um inquiring about how much i make yearly what size i'm looking for why i want to move and you know just regular questions you know that they would ask anybody so a week and a half later you know when i had that day i was crying i was stressed out i was like oh my god i don't know what i'm gonna do um me and my roommate we weren't communicating very well at all i was just like i don't know what to do so the next day I was actually at work at my full time job and I was on my lunch break with a coworker and I got the phone call. I was literally like taken aback. Like I was like, yo, I got approved? Me? I got approved. You're not calling to inquire about anything? But you're telling me I got approved. Like I can sign and move in. I got approved. I got approved. So, from that day, that was in, that was at the end of August, I spent the next week calling her, verifying things, inquiring about things. I had, I had a lot of questions because my old place, like, it was cool for my first place on my own with the roommate, but community-wise, six out of ten. Professional etiquette from leasing from the leasing office i would probably give them a six out of ten and just the whole appearance of the apartments themselves i would give them a six out of ten so they were below average or average i guess you could say they were actually just on average like they had the whole little ac unit sticking out the window i mean i don't there's nothing wrong with that at the end of the day like it's, it's air i need air but it's like a I don't want to see that. I don't want. I don't want to see. I didn't. Me personally, I don't want to see that. For me, growing up in a home where I'm not gonna tell y'all my life story. This is why I gotta like talk about topic. I will literally get off topic for real. But back to um, the questions. I spent a whole week. I spent the whole week asking about things. You know, inquiring about things, verifying things, and I had a move-in date set for the end of um, September like the middle of end like the 19th and it got pushed back so that little thing right there um i got slightly discouraged by but it was still given it was still certain i was gonna move in here they came for me to come after work i signed my lease i got my keys i put my deposit down which wasn't even a lot my deposit was less than 200 y'all so i couldn't beat that i really couldn't beat that um so it's now today is actually Sunday, November 1st. So I've been in here for a month and a day. A month and a day I've been in my new spot and I can definitely say I'm less stressed. Um I I feel my stress coming down just y'all don't know what I had to go through. Y'all don't know what I was going through. Okay. So but here I am, here I am, fresh and revived and rejuvenated. And today's actually Sunday, so I'm doing my skincare routine, my rejuvenation routine. You know, every Sunday I do my face mask with my Aztec clay. Um, sometimes I wash my hair, depending on if it needs to be washed, but it doesn't need to be washed. Um, and I, I'll cook me some dinner, and I'll just chill out, maybe work out a little bit. Um, and that's that that's that's gonna be today i really just wanted this video to be a reintroduction a reintroduction in my natural habitat you know i really want to be more consistent with my content you never know what people are going through in life and it just so happens that people can be going through the same thing you're going through so 
everyone has their methods of how they want to get through situations in life and how they've gotten through situations in life. But, you know, talking about it, talking it out, addressing the issues, I mean, it can help someone else. You know, you just never know. Some people need to hear what you went through and how you got through it to give them a little push to how to get through it. Because honestly, y'all, last year, this time last year, I had no idea that within a year, I would be in my own place. So take, like, that's that right there. Like, I really didn't know I was going to be in my own place. I didn't know I was going to be in my own place when I, my birthday passed the summer. I didn't. So for the whole year 2020, it's really just been an up and down roller coaster, literally since January. I guess you can call this a life update. Um, I am single. I'm single. Me and my ex, we have a couple videos that's still on my channel. If you want to watch those, they'll be linked down below too. Um, me and my ex, we broke up early, earlier this year, literally the first week of January, we broke up. I thought we were in game. I thought we were in game. However, I'm not saying it is the very end for us, but our relationship got to a point where we needed to separate and really reevaluate our goals, our ambitions, and it got really, really rocky. It got really rocky, and I had to make a decision. I had to choose. Like, I was going through shit with my family, and then I was going through shit in my relationship, and, you know, me and him, we didn't have the same worries. So for him to only d be dealing with this type of worry and then for me to be dealing with this and this and this type of worry, it was a lot of stress on me. So um, our relationship really wasn't working at the time and I decided that I needed to just be by myself. I, ch I had to choose myself. So that's within my relationship and within like my relationship with my family. Like I had to choose myself. So not everyone's gonna agree when you choose yourself, and that's okay. At the end of the day, you can't let up. And I wasn't about to let up. Of course, we still keep in contact. We were together for six years, guys. We don't just not talk, okay? When it comes to growing together, I definitely really wanted to do that with him. Um, and not everything works out when the way you want it to. But at the end of the day, like I said, sometimes you just need to separate yourself and grow by yourself. And who knows, maybe in the future things might work out. I don't know. Right now, I'm just trying to still get to know myself, be by myself. And I'm going to just have to do that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to really just have to do that. I've gotten to experience a lot on my own this year from me being single not gonna lie i wasn't the type to really go out so i've been hanging out with my friends more often i've been i haven't been partying i'm not a big party girl but i do like going out with my friends kickbacks like lunch days dinner dates like all that kind of stuff i've actually been taking out on my, like my first official date like being a single woman like my first official date um like flowers all that stuff so that's kind of cute that was kind of cute this shouldn't even be a long video to edit either because i'm not even about to sit here and wrap you guys up i just wanted to reintroduce myself my name is victoria you can call me tori you can call me victoria it doesn't matter i, I really don't care i've been doing youtube on and off a little bit for about four years now i think about four years now and I like it. I've always liked watching YouTube videos and it's always been a thought of myself to portray my own type of YouTube videos, you know? So if you want to subscribe to my channel, click that subscribe button, okay? I like, comment all the time. I like interacting. Um, it actually makes me feel good when I'm not on YouTube for a while and then I just say, you know what, let me just go check out my YouTube creator studio. Let me see what's going on in here. And then I see like comments from people that I have to approve that I'm like, yo, like people really like watch my shit. <laughs> they really like watch my shit. I like to cook. You guys, I like to cook. So you're definitely going to be seeing some recipe videos coming your way. I need to go shopping. I want to go shopping, okay? I don't need to go shopping. I want to go shopping. It's November 1st, so I want to actually get a head start on decorating for Christmas. Um, not saying that I'm promising y'all any of those videos, okay? I might just say, I might just come with him. I might just come with him. Who knows? Those are the kind of things that I want to get into. I now live on my own, so this is all on me.
that's that it's all on me that's that it's all on me so thank you guys for watching this little update of mine um stay tuned like comment and subscribe to my channel follow me on all my social media it will be linked down below and also right here on the screen instagram twitter and snapchat interact with your girl i'm actually pretty nice and that's really it so stay tuned for my next video guys it'll probably be coming pretty soon who knows who knows so i've been living on my own for a month now i've been single for almost 10 months now and i turned 25 this year so it's been a it's been a pretty good year other than rona other than rona being out it's been a pretty good year other than rona being out but nonetheless nonetheless we will continue to prevail and improve ourselves and grow with ourselves and be patient with ourselves we will continue doing those things okay i'll see y'all in my next video bye